The news headlines today read, NASA discovers a parallel universe in the land of Antarctica. However, there is zero evidence of a parallel universe where laws of physics operate in reverse order. What we have found are evidence or let's say signals of fundamental particles that may defy our current understanding of physics or it might even just be an issue with how particles interact with ice as Forbes say. But then, how the stories of a parallel universe came into the picture? Here's how. Most articles online have derived their scripted news from a six-week-old story published by The New Scientist in which the admittedly alarming headline we may have spotted a parallel universe going backwards in time. It talks about some puzzling results from studies conducted in Antarctica of cosmic rays, which are arriving from outside Earth's atmosphere. Now, there have been a total of three research papers studying these particles that we are talking about. I've shared the link of the same in the description. However, the crux is the standard model concerning these neutrinos, which are the fundamental particles, doesn't really explain the detection of a rare kind of event by ANITA. Now, you must would have heard the word ANITA maybe in some newspapers or some news scripts. Well, ANITA is the Antarctic Impulsive Transient Antenna. This is an experiment which has been designed to study the ultra-high energy cosmic neutrinos by detecting the radio pulses emitted by their interaction with the Antarctic ice sheet. In 2016, ANITA detected some signals best described as anomalous, evidence of a high-energy particle, extremely high-energy neutrinos coming up from the Earth's surface, but no source. And the source is what explains the entire idea behind this theory. So here is one more check for the same. The Ice Cube Neutrino Observatory, or let's simply say Ice Cube, which is constructed at the Amundsen Scott South Pole Station in Antarctica. Its thousands of sensors are located under the Antarctic ice, distributed over a cubic kilometer. These sensors detect neutrinos, passing through and reacting with hydrogen and oxygen atoms in the ice. This process makes Ice Cube a remarkable tool to follow up the ANITA's observation, because for each anomalous event that ANITA detects, Ice Cube should have detected many, many more, which in these cases, we didn't as said by Anesthesia of the University of Geneva in Switzerland. That means that we can rule out the idea that these events came from some intense point. Because the odds of ANITA seeing an event and Ice Cube not seeing anything are so slim. So the true status is, we don't know where the signals came from. And it is inappropriate to assume that they're coming from a parallel universe. And if you like the video, please make sure you press the like button, share the video on every other platform, subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, as this motivates us to curate better content every single time.